So today we're harvesting all the turmerics and gingers. And <laughs> what you got there? Holy moly. A big bowl of white mango ginger from Hawaii. Uh, how is it called? The place in Hawaii. Um, Hawaii Organic Ginger. Mm -hmm. Josh Starry gave us these. And we already have a bag full. And we grew it in the pot. Worked really, really well. And so here's we, a bowl. <laughs> and we top dressed it with oak leaves. Yeah. Um, did we fit fertilize these often? Yeah, we fertilized them a little bit. We also fertilized them with pea. And it worked very well in the summertime. Okay, uh, today is the 9th of January. We've got one. And we're harvesting turmeric and gingers. Three done. At the nursery. And Annie has this BKK. It's called BKK. And Look at the thing, looks like Cheetos. <laughs> looks like Cheetos. A pretty good haul. These have all been pretty awesome. Yeah. Very, very pretty. Whoa. Put it by your face for comparison. <laughs> cool. Yeah, this one really grew well. It's very cool because you can see how this one grows down versus all the other ones were growing sideways. The horizontal, yeah. Yeah, all of these are growing down. down. And it's not cool. because of space, because the other ones grow sideways. So it's really cool to and see. Is the one we had the least amount of? Yeah, this one is the one that we had the least amount of, but now we have. And there's already a piece in here. That's cool. So that's pretty cool. We're back at the ginger land. And the yellow. What is it? Yellow ginger. Hawaiian yellow ginger. So we've already had like two or three frost, light frost. And maybe two or three days in the low 40s. And all the other. And low 30s. Low 30s have died. Uh, back. But this one's fully just still, still good. Oh my gosh. Yesterday we harvested all those gingers. And today um, I'm going to prep them to, well, some for eating, some for fermenting. But basically I'm just giving them a good wash and preparing them for um, that and also for propagation so I have like a rinse wash sanitize and then into baskets and it's like a shower but it's a with a little bit more pressure and that helps get like all the leftover um, soil out so these are all the ones that are pretty much clean I'm gonna try to show you how I like with a little bit of pressure how I finish up cleaning it's a long process, but I'm observing right here that I have like, I have two types of rhizomes. These main ones from which basically the ones that you seem to use for eating um, sprout. So these two were actually attached right here where I'm holding it and I broke it off. And this one had... Um, a considerable amount of roots that I just cut. All these nubs were roots and right up here we have an eye. So I'm thinking that I may use this, this thing that's telling me, to use this one for propagating or making into a paste because the roots are pretty rough. I don't know how deep in they will go. I know in Galangal for example they go pretty far down but yeah, there we go, one last cleaning, and and yeah, I'm using these little Falco shears just to cut the roots, it's more than enough. This is what's been done and ready. White mango turmeric, and... When we get home, we'll see how much we harvest it. But let's say this basket is like a quarter full. That's pretty cool. 
very excited. This is the first year we harvested. And we grew it in the pots that we showed before. Went really well. Next one is King Jai. It's a ginger type. It's large. Often in the store you find like those huge um, rhizomes. I don't think it's exactly the same because this one is much more fragrant. Um, but it's that kind of ginger, the larger kind. Also big roots. Raleigh's cleaning the Indira yellow and it grows very, very pretty. You can see here. It's very tight together and you can see also like that middle um, rhizome and then all the little hands around it. Can you put it maybe, Raleigh, so we can see it? Yeah, it's very pretty. And it has a bright yellow color on the inside. It's not really orange, it's yellow. It's very cool. And here's another piece that grew like a heart. <laughs> or two pieces that kind of grew into each other. Very, very cool too. It's pretty cool, they look like grubs. Yeah, but you're obsessed with the grubs. The gingers, I don't know, they're wimpy. Wimpy? Yeah, they like barely produce the turmeric's now. Actually, this Bubba Blue, I lie, was pretty awesome. So here's the Bubba Blue. <clears throat> we haven't seen the blue hue, but um, supposedly it's very mild. Oh, actually here you see something. But not in the camera, but you do see like a little blue hue. Interesting. We'll have to cut some more sections to These see. These are Cheetos. These are Cheetos, or BKK turmeric. Really, really cool when it looks all clean and they cleaned up really cool in the these whole pieces. Oh, I didn't get so good on this one, I'll be back. These are Hawaiian, Hawaiian red, red turmerics. Raleigh's gonna clean them again. Very pretty. Hawaiian yellow gingers. Really, really fragrant, um, small, delicate ginger. Um, this one is Indira yellow turmeric. It's not that yellow, but it's an incredibly heavy producer. Really, really cool pieces that we got here. Um, very easy to clean too, because it's very smooth. This is white mango turmeric. Um, really nice and smooth pieces too, easy to clean. A large harvest as well. And then finally King Jai Ginger, which are these gigantic pieces of ginger, super fragrant, super juicy, um, really, really cool. So here Here's we are. Harvest. Come look at my harvest. <laughs> look at my... This is the ginormous harvest of the reject turmerics. These are just store-bought turmerics that produce eeny weeny little... They're the rejects. Um, pieces. Hard to clean, but still very tasty, flavorful. I mainly put the whole thing in a soup and just use it like that. Um, they are a little bit harder to manage. They also weren't grown in the best conditions, um, but they still grew. So that's pretty cool.